be pretty hard to pick too many holes in that. Uh, Paul Hanari, I've got to look up to have a look at that score, 122 to 77. I mean, uh, you know, that must be beyond your wildest dreams. It's, uh, it actually is, to be honest. Um, there's not many games I've coached in my career when I've just sort of sat back and been in awe of the team that I'm coaching. Um, and, and to be honest, that, and I'm not just saying it to say that, it had nothing to do with me. That was all them. Um, the, the talks that we had, the pre-game meetings that we had, was all led by the players and the thing that they wanted to focus on and, uh, and the way that they wanted to play. So uh, honestly, I, just, I was a fan tonight because some of the stuff they did out there, the, the intensity they played with was just and it, really enjoyable to watch. Crazy old game because early nothing was dropping, you know, and, and, and then all of a sudden you just put your foot down. I mean, uh, does the uh, switch just flick like that or what do you put that down to? Yeah, we kind of look at that first little five-minute patch and, you know, we we're missing laps and little floaters and little bunnies around the rim and we just sort of spoke about, you know, there, there are gaps in the defence and, you know, if, uh, you know, once we get the ball into the paint, if we can find our perimeter guys um, who are open and, and be willing to make the extra pass, uh, and that's exactly what they did. And, you know, obviously, you know, Jordan Natai got hot in the first half and, and, you know, sort of kept the scoreboard ticking over. But but really the, the defence, the activity, the deflections was, um, was, was outstanding and, yeah, you, know, you always got to find that balance. We we dealt with a bit of foul trouble tonight, and uh, we had to find our way. But um, you know, the guys were just gutsy the whole way. That is some statement, though, that you've made to the league. Uh, really, I mean, we spoke, uh, you know, pre-game, and you were you were uh, looking for a bit more of a uh, emphatic performance after a couple of weeks where you're a little bit off the boil by Saints uh, standards, of course. Uh, so you got that in bucket load. So uh, now, I guess, it becomes about you know how, how you how you're going to get beaten this year. Yeah, well, it's for us. It's it's always been about the way that we're playing, and for the for the last couple of weeks, you know, we felt we fell fell, fell a bit short um, from from our standards, and um, you know, to see the guys really buy into that and put the work in at practice. And I thought last night, you know, we started the game really well defensively, and you know, that's what the big focus focus of ours was um, the activity, the deflections, um, you know, contesting everything, and and we carried that momentum. Thankfully, we were able to rest some guys last night. I think that um, that probably helped um, you know because this was a, a really tough day you know uh, to, we got up at uh, um, 5 30 this morning to, to jump on a plane and you know we, we landed in Invercargill just before midday and uh, basically had a bit of rest and, and came down to play so um, you know just really impressed with the resilience that the guys showed as well. So how do you follow up on a performance like that like from your point of view you know get, uh, dipping into the Paul Hanari coaching uh, brain I mean uh, you know how, how do you keep I guess the standards up uh, you know when, when you've uh, cakewalk to, to a victory uh, tonight? Yeah, I mean, we'll review it the same way we always do. Um, you know, when we get back together uh, next week, you know, we'll look at the, some of the things that, uh, and there's always, every game I've been a part of, there's always something you can work on, so we'll find that. But Good luck finding that. Yeah, yeah but, uh, but there's also um, obviously some of those things, you know, because obviously the Sharks and Jody, they, they throw different things at you, and I thought we, we really dealt with their zone. Um, really well tonight. They've been disruptive with teams, and you know, I just thought that we, we kind of threw um, playbook offense out the window, and we just thought, let's just move the ball. If you if you catch it, look to make an extra pass or drive and hit a gap, uh, and then be willing to make extra, extra pass. So just sort of playing that um, that level of understanding from the guys to be able to make those sorts of plays was really pleasing. Some weekends work, mate. Well done. Mm, thank you. Cheers, Paul Hanare, uh, happy man, and so he should be. Back to you guys.